Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hansel C, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we are still not mining. If you want to know uh, why and uh, uh, what's this all about, check out episode uh, zero of this uh, playlist. And today we are on a mission to gather materials so we can build the bone mill farm in the next episode. So I have written a book here and this is basically a list of the uh, ingredients or the materials that we need uh, to build. Uh, you can see there are uh, some high numbers, not terribly high, uh, but uh, at least there are some in there that can be a bit tricky. So glass, of course, we need uh, 715 sand and that needs to be smelted. Then uh, observers there, we have a bit of quartz in there. Lots of uh, redstone components. Then, of course, packed ice. Um, we saw that was a problem for our first farm, so I uh, added a, a bit of a data pack uh, for that. We can get that from uh, Mason uh, if it's a uh, Mason in uh, a snowy biome. So that is not terribly easy to get. Uh, our hands on but uh, it's better than waiting on uh, wandering traders to get this insane high amount um, they only trade um, six blocks so that would mean we would have to catch 10 wandering traders that have that trade um, then here that's the, the second page and it basically boils down to these base materials uh, 12 stacks of sand 45 stacks of cobblestone 25 stacks of redstone dust 14 stack of uh, iron then we need snowballs 1215 stacks we need that to trade with the uh, with the uh, village for the ice and uh, slime balls three stacks hay bales uh, two stacks and there you see that's why we needed the uh, wheat farm uh, quartz three stacks moss eight eight bows a bit of glowstone dust uh, lava and water and it continues so with the redstone we can trade with uh, for one emerald we get two redstone so that means we need 21 stacks of redstone and we also need a bit of redstone uh, in combination with the with the snow to get to the ice so i have my work cut out uh, to do a bit of trading collecting uh, uh, goods and i think the emeralds we can get through uh, trading with iron. Uh, the uh, uh, there are villages that trade uh, four iron ingots for one emerald. So basically, that means we need uh, 84 stacks of iron. So that's quite. A while I have to spend over at the uh, iron farm we constructed in the last episode so let me make a bit of progress here in collecting materials and then we can see about some of the more exciting ones with the help of a few additional uh, tools miss I was able to convert much of the iron into emeralds so that uh, I now have most of the material ready lots of wood 
Uh, also smelted down uh, stone and glass, which I moved over largely. So now uh, I will have to create some redstone components and then we will see about that ice and how we will get it. Now with a pumpkin and some snow blocks, let's take a boat ride with a villager. Uh, so we can see uh, where we get that ice. Not on this shore. Now then, let's see what we can do. We need a, a snow golem because we need quite a bit of uh, snow uh, to get the uh, to get the ice. Yeah, that already works there. So. Now we just have to lock him in. There. The other side as well. Very nice. Now we can remove all the excess here and then we should get snow on here and do I have a shovel? I have not. I have some in here. Then we farm snow like this. And that's how we get snowballs. And from there, we craft snow blocks. Now we have two villages here on the ice and what we need is a baby villager of the snowy kind. Uh, so let's hope if we uh, breed them. They will be enticed to produce a baby villager of said kind. The kind is determined by either the parent or the biome. As you can see, neither parents are a good match for what we need. But we can still hope. Ooh, looks like we are lucky. A baby villager in there. And it's the snowy kind, great. So now let's wait uh, for him to grow up and then we can give him the uh, stone mason trade because snow villager, I added a data pack where snow villagers uh, for the mason trade instead of the uh, quartz pillar have an ice trade for this type of ice. And we need the uh, packed ice, so we need to trade quite a bit of ice. Uh, and yeah, you, you will see the trade when we have it set up. Now let's see if we can get the right villager to become a mason. Yes! And we need to trade up first because of course the uh, the the uh, quartz trade is the last one so 
We will spend a few emeralds here until we get there. So four, all normal as with every other stonemason. But now here we can trade nine slow snow blocks plus an emerald into one ice. And there should be 12 trades before he locks. And then we have to wait until refreshes his traits uh, we can make bricks out of these spend a bit less uh, place right okay and then of course with the uh, ice we can create packed ice and we will need i think 60 blocks so uh, let's make it a stack and until we get uh, all the ice we need for 60 we need 540 uh, blocks of uh, normal ice to craft them uh, so I will be a while here my hands are swollen I spent a real life day basically only trading for a few pieces of packed ice so conclusion is if you come across a wandering trader uh, that sells some ice it's better to buy ice from him than uh, doing the trading this way but we are here out in the uh, industrial area where next time we will build the bone meal farm right uh, in this direction into the sunset so Join me next time when we do just that. Goodbye!